Now look at verse 7. What's the very first word? In. Again, everything is going to keep coming back to being in Christ. So it's in whom we have redemption through, so it's not just in, but it's also through Christ throughout this, this epistle, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the richness of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, and he's made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself. It's that idea that when we seek revelation, when we seek guidance, when we seek comfort, when we seek direction or answers to our prayers, trying to make major decisions or trying to overcome difficulties, sometimes we don't get exactly what we asked for, when we asked for it, how we asked for it. I love the reality that Paul is painting this picture for these Ephesians to say, can you just trust that God is more powerful and more knowledgeable and more loving and more grace-filled than you can possibly imagine. So if you're doing the best you can, you're seeking for help and it's not coming, let it go. Don't, don't let go your faith, don't let go of your pleading, but let go of that frustration, let go of that anxiety of, oh, I, I, why isn't he answering? And you simply move forward trusting that God is doing his will according to his timing with us. And it's powerful when we can let go of that, that feeling of, of deep frustration when we're not getting exactly what we want, how we want it.